Hey everyone, it's Trimmy, and it's Friday morning, and it's just been a kind of a long, drawn out week. Um, still waiting on insurance to approve uh, my physical therapy, and so that'll be my physical and occupational therapy. Um, the nursing is coming in, you know, and drawing my blood and everything. So that's gone along well. Um, my lev liver enzymes, something was high. So Dr. Burt took me off of um, one of my medicines for a week. I think it was the antifungal medicine. And... Um, so we're, you know, to wait to see how my enzymes went down, or how my, yeah, I guess how they went down, um, this week. <laughs> so I don't know any answers on that yet. Um, I guess it was on Easter, I fell down, and, uh, hurt, it's probably the worst fall I've had, <laughs> and... I um, tore, tore up uh, my both of my knees were swollen and they're black and blue now and the left one and my left elbow I bloodied both of them and I hit my head on the wall and bruised the top of my head and everything so it's been making for some painful getting up and down, um, and some slow walking this week. Uh, then last night I was getting in bed and hit my left knee on the wood on the bed and it broke that all back open. And, um, my blood is still pretty thin right now. And so I bleed really easy and so... We had took a long time for it to quit bleeding, but so we had to put back on a great big huge band aid. So I got to start all over again to get that to start healing. Um, I wish I wasn't still so weak. I didn't think that I would be weak this week you know, for so long, um, but, uh, I believe it's because as, you know, I went in so severely sick, um, you know, that just kind of, you know, makes the starting point, you know, a little bit harder. And i am just got to work and, you know, work and gain um, my energy and my endurance. And uh, when, you know, physical therapy will help me with that and just time. And uh, I wish... Some days, it's just been so hard. Um, suffering is the only word that I can describe how it is. Um, I know I've been through the hard, hard part and everything and I'm on the other side. I just wish I was feeling better. Um, I've lost 35 pounds, which makes me very, very happy. But I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. <laughs> don't pay for, don't do a stem cell transplant to lose 35 pounds. I still have, because I, I guess I need to lose, it's like, a, 
a total of 100, so I guess that still leaves like 65. And um, I really don't have any appetite. I do um, try to eat, and I probably get down two bites of food, and then I'm through. Um, but that's okay, because like, you know, like two hours later, I'll, you know, I'll think, I'll try to eat again, and I'll, I'll get like two more bites down. So I am getting some nutri nutrition, and, um, you know, I just not eating a full meal. But, you know, the day will come back. You know, my body has just been through hell. Um, you know, they really kill you off. They bring you down to where you're nothing. And, you, and it's hard to come, you know, to gain your strength and to come back from that. And, uh... I knew it was going to be hard, and I knew it was going to be worse than what I thought it would be, um, but it was worse than the worst than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it, it really was, so it, but the lupus, you know, I, I, I can't complain, and, and it's, it's hard for me to still comprehend that the lupus is not there, but I know it's not, and I know how I'm feeling right now, it's not lupus, um, at least, I saw my fingernail, <laughs> I haven't got to do my fingernails at all, and I look horrible, but one of my friends, she sent me some new polish, so I put it on that finger to see what it looked like, um, and it's Christian Dior, my first Christian Dior stuff, um, she really pampered me, uh, but I, I like I said, I know the sickness and how I'm feeling right now, it is not lupus at all. Um, I don't have any of that. None of that. My weakness and sickness right now is just my body healing. And I wish it would hurry up. I wish I knew what I could do to make it go quicker. Um, the doctors are uh, going, oh well, no, they're not going back and forth on the oxygen. Uh, they don't really want me on the oxygen. Um, my PT, they said um, they wouldn't do it without me being on oxygen. And I, so I, and without having PT here, I'd been sitting around without the oxygen. And, but I was short of breath and breathing hard the whole time and my heart was racing and pounding but my stats are are good they're staying in the 90s um, and but they said the reason my heart's pounding is because um, you know right now I'm anemic and everything and it's because it's happened my heart's happened to work harder push the blood around and uh, to get the oxygen work that it needs and then finally two days ago or it might have been yesterday I told Dwayne I said I, I don't care what anybody says I'm tired I'm tired of sitting here shorter breath and trying to breathe I'm putting the oxygen on so I can rest because I can't sit here just with everything pounding I'm tired of it so my doctors can slap me in the face if they want, but at least I'm not sitting here going, <sighs> <sighs> at least I'm breathing. My time's running out, you guys. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.